day, Salamites, and welcome from uh, a very sunny Queensland on the um, Sunshine Coast in Australia. We're all um, keeping calm and self-isolating and creating. So trying to ride this storm through with the least uh, amount of anxiety that we possibly can. So what, what better than to um, get in your art room and create? Well, that's my plan for today. So um, I'm just going to just got a bit of paint here that I would like to use up on this little M MDF um, kind of flower shape. I was going to um, do a little flip cup pour, the little old fashioned flip cup pour, <laughs> should we say. Um, but I will, I'm hoping when it's dry, if it, if it all turns out okay, I will put a name on it for one of my friend's grandchildren. So that is the plan. But I'm doing a flip cup and the paint is and the paint on the paint I'm going to use is quite runny some of it so I'm going to this will be a test because usually with a flip cup you will do the paint quite thick so and there's going to be just one exception to my flip cup it's probably sandwiched in between each color I'm going to put this this is my Montmartre Studio Acrylics, which I'm using, all of the paints that I'm using are the Montmartre Studio Acrylic, but this one I've mixed with a bit of flow troll, so I'm going to sandwich it in between and see if it gives me a different result. The rest of my colours, <coughs> hey, hey Lola, the rest of the colours are mixed with my 70-30% um, glue. My pouring recipe and my medium uh, pouring recipe and my paints and my stockist are all in the drop down box underneath this video and also there's an explanation of how I mix them and the Helmar silicon that I put into each cup so it's all there. I also have some links underneath this video to more videos if for, for beginners or people just wanting more information. So, so, I've just got these left, few leftover colours from a previous pour and I'm, as I said, I'm going to sandwich them. So, it should be a quick video. And I'm just thinking that maybe because just this one particular phalo blue is mixed with Floetrol, it may um, give kind of a lacing effect, I'm not sure. So, all the other colours, like I said, are mixed with the, uh, the clear glue and water with the exception of um, the blue so just another little trial on a little MDF sort of flower shape so that'll be interesting okay this is the carmine these are some of the new colors from the Montmartre this one's car carmine um, the other pink one I used was, I think it's just called pink. <laughs> Plain and simple pink. So I'll use that one up. And then it was the silver. So this silver in the Montmartre, I'm using the silver and the gold to really uh, make some custom colours, mixing the silver and gold in the colours. So that's been quite interesting and made some lovely colours for me. So this might be difficult getting to these bits here so I might just pour a bit around the edge of the car of mine just so I can kind of make sure all these scalloped edges are covered. So just taking it nice and slow. Well, I hope you're all keeping safe and I hope that you're just taking this time actually to enjoy your downtime and stay home and create. I mean, you have to make something out of a well, what is it, a bad situation for us all and the whole world is the same, so nobody's kind of feeling it more than the other, I suppose. Um, 
the blessing here in Australia is that we've got this gorgeous weather um, at the moment going into the nicest time of year which is our, uh, I suppose it's our autumn, but sort of now, now we can look forward to really nice nine months of comfortable weather. Okay, let's do this. So it's a flip cup paw. Lola, stop your barking. So I'm gonna just do it. Oops, probably got way too much paint. But it's just going to be interesting to see what the phalo paint mixed with Floetrol in a natural flip core. A flip cup bore, this has got no silicone in it, the Floetrol, because the, everybody, the sort of naysayers about using glue and water as your pouring medium say, oh, use Floetrol because the glue and water's no good and... Um, and the Floetrol creates cells, which it does, but they're a whole different kind of cells. They're more like a lacing. So look at this already. I'm just, was interesting to see by sandwiching the Floetrol, um, what kind of pour it will give you. So, but this is a really odd shape to pour on to try and get the whole shape covered is, yeah going to be a tricky bicky, a tricky bicky. I'll just try and get it, what well, this bit of paint that's come out from the flip cup, I'll just try and make sure it's touching all the bits of the um, MDF board. My puppy dog, the Australian Shepherd Bindi, is having a good old time with my <coughs> son's dog, which is a little Havanese called Lola with a, a little dog with a big big personality. <laughs> she thinks she's the boss and that's it. So this is interesting. Let's just let it go, hey? Do the lip. Is that right? Flip and lip. Flip and lip. Let's give it a bit of interest. She's playing hide and seek with my dog. She's running around my table hiding. <coughs> Lola, I'm going to kick you out in a minute. <coughs> Honestly, it's like having some little children here playing that they're not doing as they're told. Because it's quite... <coughs> hey, hey, hey! Hey, Buster. Shush. Okay. I'm going to go through... <laughs> Sorry about this. I might put them in the garden. <coughs> because they cry to come in with me and then when they're in here they just want to play up like naughty <coughs> Hey, Lola! Shh, 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 shh. Don't run around outside. Go on. Don't run around outside. Good girl. Okay. Alright, sorry about that. It's playtime for the children. Oh, and she's back in. Lola. The little monkey. Wow. So what I will do is bring my heat my heat gun and see um, what cells I can bring up with a heat gun. Hopefully it'll just be a quick quick video for you doing a flip cup sandwich with flow troll paint. So This doesn't, this doesn't normally blow if you keep it here, but I'm trying to blow some paint around, so there you go. It will blow if you force it. Cell City. Okay, what do you think of that then? That has gone absolutely berserk, berserk, berserk with cells. 
So, I don't think it's actually um, sort of gone more lacing or anything. It's definitely selly, selly, selly. So what my idea with that is, is when it's dry, I shall put the name of one of my friend's granddaughters in nice silver letters on there. Probably I will make, I've got the letters and what I'll do is I'll just add the silver sparkle or uh, what you call them, the, um, I can't think of the name of the sparkly stuff. Oh, gone, gone out of my head. So it was just a quick one, a flip and lip. Not that you can see any lip in this, but it was a quick one. It's a flip chop pour with flow troll sandwiched in between. What do you think? It make any difference or it did or it didn't? Um, I always think the cells with flow troll go out of control and wobbly. They, they kind of remind me of ghosty cells. So not a, a lover of uh, flow troll that much in the paint, unless you're trying to achieve a kind of bloom effect and then it's a whole different story. You just do it in a different way. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing. I have lots and lots of other video instructional videos there for you to get um, comfortable and have a cuppa with and just pass the time. Um, hopefully this will all be over soon in the world and we'll be back to our normal selves. So take care and um, yeah, forever be respectful for one another and care for your neighbour. So until next time, bye for now.